Welcome back, CoinOps fans. This is Pixel Freak from the CoinOps Project Discord server, coming back with a very quick, and I mean quick this time, guys. So hang with me for just a couple minutes. Everybody's excited about the impending release of Collections. I want to remind folks that Collections is coming out very soon, and that Collections differs from Player because Collections really is for the collectors. It's not complete sets that are going to be provided, but it is the best of the systems that are included. Collections are the releases that are basically going to be in the next next to Retro Arcade line, where it's wide versions of systems with large uh, packs available, and those are going to be on a multi-tiered system. You have your systems and orbs first, and then you go in and you have your game selection from within those systems, orbs, or genres, okay? So... Player builds are single tier menu. Uh, we just had the Player Legends three releases. Those were very popular, um, had different aspects. Those are higher quality art, very specific curated heavy hitter games and systems from the early retro age only. Whereas Collections, following up with Next 2, Retro Arcade 2, and it is the broader system collection style, hence the name, folks. So without further ado, uh, people have been really wondering what it's going to look like. This is how it's going to be partitioned up. The collections base build, which is required, otherwise none of these packs are going to do anything for you. The collections base is going to be 186 gigs. GameCube pack is not included, although you'll see it on the uh, menus, and I'll touch on that in the video here in just a second. 49 gigs, Wii pack, 60 gigs, PS1 pack, 50.2, PSP, another 48, Dreamcast, another 60, Saturn, another 22.3 gigs. That's why these ones were set out separately so that folks that don't quite have the bandwidth or the space to be able to handle all that, they can get it at their leisure. Otherwise, they just drop right in. You take the base collections folder from those packs, you drop them in the base root directory of coin ops, and therefore, see, collections, they'll match up. Don't drop collections within collections. No, drop it here in here so it will match up, the collections will basically drop themselves into here properly with those packs. Enough with that. Advanced configs, I did promise that uh, there is only uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio provided. There are the second screen marquees in here. You can enable them and choose which one you want. If you want to turn them off, you got to go back to 16 by 9 aspect. And then again, 16 by 9 aspect ratio for themes. Cabinet wheel fast is the default cabinet wheel, but the covers don't change with each game selection. Helpful for people in cabinets and or with folks that have lower hardware specs so that the sorting will go faster because it's not redrawing each cover. The videos will still, uh, and the videos will wait until you're done. The videos and covers will wait until you've made your, uh, you've stopped moving to make your selection. Marquee and wall bat are also included. So four themes, 16 by nine only at this time. Otherwise, if you look 41 items, all of these advanced configs, you know me, I'm going to do a more in-depth deep dive, but hey, the days are counting down. This is going to come out. People had a lot of questions about the size, how it's coming out. This is going to be what it looks like. You've seen plenty of videos. This is the standard collections executable there are two more the only difference in the other two executables for arcade full it doesn't change the systems or games included it's simply on the all orb here on the left will change right now there's 45 you have arcade arcade classics those are the only genres and manufacturers otherwise look we head straight in to systems i'm going to quickly go through this because people want to know and i also want to show you if we get to GameCube, that was one of those packs, right? Clicking on it, nothing happens because it's not populated. Your build is not broken. I repeat, you need to add the pack. Nintendo Wii, notice clickety clickety, nothing happens. It's not broken. I'm just saying that because I don't want the help channel being filled with it's broken. What did I do wrong? It's not. This is the base only. I've not added those packs. I kept them separate to be able to show this. PlayStation 1, right? PS2. There's eight games included. It's not separated because that is a size that is manageable. PS3, 18 games included, right? Those are not separated up. PSP, that pack is huge. Therefore, it is not included and you must get it separately. Clickety, clickety, does nothing not broken. Scum VM, look, okay. All right, so 32X, right? Enough with that. You're going to see these when it comes out, but I wanted to point out 
folks, the way it's going to be, uh, the base does not have some of the menu items already populated. You need to do those on your own. The orbs on the left, of course, PC systems, nine of them. Arcade is going to be all the arcade games, but all the genres that will populate in the all orb, if you use those executables, trackball, twin stick, vector, and then it gets into manufacturers. So There's 30 of them, right? So if you go to all, because I did not enable them, it's just giving us arcade classics and arcade. Now, otherwise, all is going to go through all of the systems, right? Also, you have your menu. Brief look at those. Those should look familiar. Retro Arcade 2, basic. Um, now, I want to go down to the, this is the favorites. Remember, collections is a multi-tiered system. So therefore, this favorites orb is not about games. It is about systems, genres, and manufacturers that you favorite. You can tell again that I'm in the favorites because the heart is pulsating and selecting the start button to toggle anything can't add because they're already in the favorites. All it can do is remove. So be careful. If you want to add to the favorites, you need to do so when the heart is either blank, that's not favorited, or now it, arcade is favorited, see? You need to do the start button to toggle fave or untoggle fave in anything but the favorites playlist. Because look, if I go to GameCube and I try to favorite it when I'm already in the favorites playlist, again, hint, it's pulsating in the bottom left. All it can do is toggle it off. Uh-oh, it's gone. I would have to go to all. I would then, let's use my bumper buttons, actually. And if you look, favorite, it's not. Bottom left, it's gray. It has not been favorited. Start button toggles it. Makes the, whole, uh, the heart gold. It is now my favorite. I will find it in the system's favorites again. There it is, okay? And again, it's not populated yet. Uh, Mario is the consoles, 23 of those, okay? And then the handhelds. That's what the orbs on the left mean. The executables, the three executables, look. Arcade all goes into systems. There's only those two. I'm only gonna show you one more just so that people understand why there's different executables. This one just to add genres on the all. So what that means, folks, is any of these other five do not change. The only thing the executable changes is what's presented in all. Now look, arcade, arcade classics, Old school beat em ups, run and gun, fight club, shoot em ups, racer, puzzler, sports, gunner, okay? It added those genres between old school and the first system. So not to be a dead horse, if I go out and if I actually run the uh, arcade game and manufacturers, it's going to put about 30 additional listings on all, okay? So, but remember, it doesn't change them. They're always going to be available in the arcade orb as well. If you look down here, there's another executable coin ops star collections. We're going to touch on this briefly. There will be a separate video to explain how all this works. But if you want to understand how it works, it depends if you're a visual learner or if you're a uh, somebody who learns through reading, go to the helpers. There's so much in here, but uh, that you really should take some time to look around at. Uh, but there is an example. BP gives you a text. This is how the assets should work, where you need to put them. The fact that you can use JPEG MP4 ABI for the system uh, promo. So if you just want a static promo or if you want a video for the promo, this is where it tells you what types of files you can use, where to put it. This explains where the assets go. If that is too brief or you're just not quite getting it, go into the example. Notice it's just like a pack. Take the collections, copy it, okay? And we're going to go back to CoinOps Collections. If you look in the Collections directory, there is not an all-star. There is not a Street Fighter. He has an example of adding a Street Fighter star collection. I'm in the root. I'm going to paste what I copied. It's very small. That's why it went so fast. If I go into Collections now, look, all-stars has been added. That's what that new executable is going to look for, by the way. And... Street Fighter has been added as a collection. And if you look in here, it just has a sub. What's in the sub? 17 games that have been specifically chosen to be a Street Fighter star collection. Let's see if that works. What it will do if I run the star collections executable, it will basically make all the rest of collections unavailable and will highlight only the star collection that you just made. It's a way for modders or people that just want to have something specific available at that time. So, and it does not change the rest of the build. 
This could be static or a video could be here. This is your promo. There is only one system in here, again, because that's all we added in the All-Stars collection. If you go into it, 17 games is promised that were all specifically designed. So it is a more enhanced way of doing the subs because it now limits the system. You get control over the GUI by presenting your own promo and systems that are included, isolating everything else out, and you can make your own build. I could see somebody saying, oh, there's been a lot of requests for four player uh, playlists. If you had friends coming over and you like to do the four player gaming, get all your ROMs and your artwork, make a star collection, run it, and it will only show that one or whatever collections you've included. If I go back to collections and run the standard executable, look, nothing else has been changed. It's all the same, all right? Very, very versatile. I've already seen some examples on the Discord server of people going to going nuts and it absolutely is a great addition to collections you've heard about the size uh the way they're going to be divvied up the difference between uh collections and player builds um i'm going to do a video about the advanced configs later if you do a screen freeze i'm sure that most of these if not all of these you can get what they do from a prior doc that i've done as well that's why i'm making this short because i got to finish this documentation because it's countdown folks all right Themes, 16 by 9 only, four of them available right now. Patches later, there's going to be support ongoing with collections. I did about star collections. Uh, be patient, be cool, join the Discord server. All will be revealed, and I cannot stress enough. Go to the fact channel. There's so much good stuff there before you start asking questions. Do a search. Also, folks, a lot of people don't forget about the helpers folder, which is chock full of important information and usable media. So if you're going to do your own artwork, as always, too, the helper JPEG is in there. Look, this is included so that folks, yeah, okay, thanks, Microsoft, um, so that folks can understand what the buttons do, what the settings do, what the orbs stand for, what buttons do in there. All right, folks. So with that, I'm going to sign off. Wait patiently. It's coming soon. And there will be more in-depth videos coming soon to help with explaining all of those specific advanced configs. And uh, hey, people, show off your uh, and share your star collections once you get the build. All right, Pixel Freak signing off. We'll see you on the Discord server.